Hey, what's up guys? I'm Chris Oliver. I run a site called GoRails.com and Alex has asked me to help build the final piece of the puzzle so that you can download the list of uh, winners who've referred enough people to win some of these free uh, items. So what we're going to do is set up the admin section so you can download the CSV of all those winners and see which, which category um, they're in. So for example, I have a user here that um, has referred five people so they earned a free shaving cream and we need to be able to download the list inside the admin section to see you know what's their email and how can we go send that to them because we need to collect their address or whatever so with that said um, this is going to be pretty simple most of this is already set up um, we just need to do a couple things so the first thing is that if you navigate to slash admin in your app uh, you should see this admin login screen. Now, this is built in uh, to the application already. Um, it's using a thing called Active Admin, which you can find at activeadmin.info. This is probably one of the most common tools for admin interfaces in Rails. Um, it's pretty good. And what we're going to do is create a user to log into this, and then we're going to add a section in there so you can download the winners as a CSV file. So, Let's hop into our terminal. Now, um, one of the things that you're going to need to do is just open up for reference the dbseeds.rb file. And we're going to do that because there's a line in here that is an example of how to create an admin user. Now, we're not going to, you're free to change this if you want. So you want to maybe put in your email and password in here. Um, but that would obviously include that password in your code, which isn't the safest thing. So what I would recommend is just opening this up and then going into your terminal and running, you know, Heroku run Rails console. And you're going to want to run this so you can log into the Rails console on Heroku and then we'll run the same command, but we'll change the email and password there to be your own. Because I don't have this on Heroku right now, I'm just going to run Rails uh, Rails console here on my computer, and I'm gonna add an admin user the same way. So all you need to do is just grab this code and paste it in, and we'll say, um, my email address is chris at GoRails. My password for this account is gonna be just password. Um, and we'll say password confirmation is password. And that's all you need to do. So once you run this, you should see that it inserts that into the database, and then, if you go back to this admin section, you can say chris at gorails.com and password, and you're able to log in. So that's all you have to do to create an admin user, and I recommend doing it in the console like that. Um, there should be no differences if you do this on Heroku or locally, just saves to the you know different databases there. And once you've got that, we need to go to the users section and uh, basically set this up. So I'll have code for you uh, if you wanna add this to your own application. Um, but basically I made this button here in the users section to download the winners. And when you click this, it generates a CSV file, goes through all the users, and then figures out who won uh, what prize. So I've separated it out by this is the group that has referred at least five, but not 10, um, or not the next category worth of things. And then there's a bunch of dashes just to separate it out if you have a lot of winners. So then you'll see that you'll get the email address and then a number for the uh, number of referrals that that person did. So this could be, you know, seven. And if you were to find people that had uh, 10 referrals, you're going to see something like this. And uh, that would be, you know, maybe this person did 13 referrals. And so you'll see the CSV split up into chunks like that. And it's just a way to separate it within the same CSV rather than having to download a bunch of files. So that should be pretty easy for you guys to use. And let's dive into the code just to take a look at how to uh, set up this button and make that download happen. So we'll go into our code again and we'll click on app admin users.rb and we'll open this up. And really the only changes that you'll see that are available um, or that we made here are the first line requires CSV and that allows us to, uh, to require the CSV library from Ruby 
and then that it can be used later to generate a CSV and we're going to do that in memory. So we're not going to write files to the hard drive. Um, and the reason for that is because Heroku doesn't really want you to do that. And it's not very easy for you to download files from Heroku um, on their file system. We want to download it in the browser. So that's why we're going to set this up. So then um, at the bottom half of the file, we have an action item, which is that link to download the, the winners, which is what you see right here. Um, and then we have that links to the winners admin users path, which we just define here. And this basically is the same code that uh, Harry's Razors gave us. I just cleaned it up a little bit and made the uh, CSV stuff a little bit different. So it would download in the browser instead of writing to Heroku's hard drive, which makes it really hard to get those, those winners files on Heroku. So um, really this just goes through each of the steps that are there. So anything that you've defined in the oops, in the user.rb, so these referral steps, any of these, um, it goes through each of those and looks at all the users and says, hey, did this person get at least five or at least 10 or at least 25 and so on. And it figures out which is the most, um, which is the highest tier that that person had won. And then it just plops them in a CSV file uh, like you saw just a minute ago. And then it basically tells the browser to download that file. And that's all you need to do in order to do that. So we'll have this code available for you to just dump into your application. You don't have to write this from scratch. It's a little bit um, complicated because of the tiers of rewards that you can earn. But um, that is all you really need to do to connect this button and download the winners and have your own little admin section. This is also super useful if you want to see all of the email addresses that are in your database that you've collected um, and their referral codes. So if you need to do any support stuff, you can go ahead and do that in here. Um, and yeah, this is Active Admin. Definitely recommend checking it out. And if you're interested in more stuff like this, I run a site called GoRails.com. And if you want to learn more uh, Rails stuff ongoing, like how to deploy stuff to Heroku, how to add features like notifications in your app, how to do some more complicated JavaScript, cover all kinds of topics, and uh, put out a new video at least once a week on different Rails stuff. So, um, hope you enjoyed this, and uh, maybe I'll see you on GoRails. All right, have fun. Peace.